So let's continue our discussion of alkanes and the chemical properties of alkanes. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about the reaction with chlorine and we're going to also talk about the cracking of hydrocarbons and cracking means breaking bonds. Now, for starters, we're going to begin with the reaction. So let me switch the font to make it more clear. Now, firstly, we're going to talk about the reaction with chlorine and the reaction with chlorine is usually a substitution reaction and let's demonstrate this with an example now substitution means something substitutes another thing so let's see how that applies now let's talk about methane so methane is the simplest or the smallest member of the alkane family so what if methane reacts with Cl2 with some light and you guys need to know uh, this reaction is a photochemical reaction so this is a photochemical reaction I forgot to mention that which means it needs light to proceed so now methane is reacting with chlorine with sufficient light what will that produce now this is a substitution reaction so what's going to happen is one of the chlorines will substitute the place of one hydrogen. So we're going to be left with three hydrogens and one chlorine. And we have another product, which is HCl. Now let's explain this. And how did we come up with those products? Well, Cl has this structure. One Cl is bonded to another Cl. Now this Cl right here replaces the place of one hydrogen and this hydrogen right there reacts with the other Cl producing HCl. Now this produces chloromethane so the name of this compound is chloromethane and hydrochloric acid. Now this compound has one chlorine and it's called chloromethane. What if this compound right there so now we have chloromethane reacting with more Cl2 what's gonna happen well let's see for starters we know that it's a substitution reaction and let's think the smart way so what's gonna happen is one Cl we replace one hydrogen and the other Cl will react with the hydrogen producing hydrochloric acid. Now let's write this. So the product will be we have two hydrogens bonded to the carbon and then we have two Cl's plus hydrochloric acid. Now this compound is not chloromethane anymore. It's dichloromethane. So this is dichloromethane. So dichloro means it has two chlorines available and it's still methane. So it's dichloromethane. So if this dichloromethane reacts with more Cl2, it will produce trichloromethane. And then this trichloromethane reacting with Cl2 will produce tetrachloromethane. And then so on and so forth until all of the hydrogens right there are replaced with Cl's. So that's it with the reaction with chlorine. I hope this was clear for you guys. Now let's move on to cracking of hydrocarbons. And cracking, as I wrote there, is breaking bonds. So cracking can be done both in the lab and refineries. And firstly, we're going to talk about the reaction in the lab. So in the lab, we get a test tube. And in this test tube, we put some ceramic, and you guys think, oh, ceramic is not a hydrocarbon. Well, let's see ceramic plus wool plus oil from petroleum. Now, in a previous video, we talked about the different fractions when we refine crude oil. And there are several fractions. We take the oil out of this. So we put ceramic plus wool plus oil. And inside the test tube also, we put some catalyst to speed up the reaction and the catalyst I put it right there 
where the baby blue so this is the catalyst and this test tube is heated using a burner and this is the delivery tube so this is the delivery tube and this tube passes the gas produced from this reaction onto water and the gas is collected over an inverted tube so this is an inverted tube now we learned before that hydrocarbons are compounds that have carbon and hydrogen and in the previous video when we talked about combustion we said that hydrocarbons when combusted in air they produce carbon dioxide so whatever the gas is whether it's carbon dioxide gas or any other gas this gas is collected over water in the inverted tube so this is the cracking of hydrocarbons in the lab. Now, let's talk about the cracking in refineries. So, cracking in refineries. Now, we're just going to mention some hints. You guys are not responsible for the whole process in the refinery. You just need to know some certain things. So, the first thing you guys need to know is that when long chain hydrocarbons are heated, they vaporize. So this is the first thing you need to know about cracking in refineries. The second thing you guys need to know is that this vapor, the vapor produced is passed on to a hot catalyst so it's passed over a hot catalyst and finally thermal decomposition occurs so that's it for cracking of hydrocarbons in refineries we said that when hydrocarbons are heated they vaporize in other words they produce a gas and this vapor is passed onto a hot catalyst and then thermal decomposition occurs so in the next video, we're going to talk about why cracking is important and we're going to discuss some important examples that you guys need to know. And that's that for this video. Stay tuned for the next video and good luck.